What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have my TLC 2017 pay-per-view predictions. And I gotta say, looking at this card from afar, I'm not very happy with it. I'm not excited for this pay-per-view, and this may be the worst match card we've had all year long. I'm just not excited for any of the matches. The uh, We only have one TLC match, which is pretty ridiculous, being that the pay-per-view name is TLC. You thought that there would be some tables matches, some chair matches even, maybe even another ladder match, or maybe even another TLC match, but we only get one TLC match, and it is the main event, which is probably the only match on the car that I'm looking forward to. I just feel like a lot of these feuds are forced. I feel like uh, some of these matches are just trash. A lot of these matches we've seen a lot before, it seems like, so I'm just, oh man, I'm just ready to uh, get this pay-per-view over with and move on to something new, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way through the card, and let's go with it. Holy sh**. Guys, oh my freaking god, I literally just recorded that intro and then I got the freaking Twitter update. What in the blue hell is going on? Kurt Angle will now replace Roman Reigns. So we no longer have Roman Reigns. We no longer have Bray Wyatt. It's no longer... It's no longer Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns on the match card. They are getting replaced. Roman Reigns will now ride the pine with the flu. And we will get Kurt Angle joining forces with the Shield to take on The Miz, Cesaro, Sheamus, Kane, and Braun Strowman. And then, oh my freaking God, guys, we have freaking The Demon, Finn Balor, will now take on the phenomenal AJ Styles. I literally just got it out of my mouth that this was going to be a trash card, and now we have literally, like, we have one of my favorites of all time, Kurt Angle, returning to the ring in 11 years, the WWE ring for 11 years. He's returning now. And we have one of the greatest matches that could ever take place between AJ Styles and Finn Balor. This is freaking amazing. This is just, like, how can you flip it around? We look... Okay, now we can go through the card with a little bit of optimism. Now we can look at it for, in a whole new perspective now. They might have revived this pay-per-view just now. Um, not excited for a lot of the matches, but you can look forward to these two from now on, guys. All right, let's run through this card now. Up first, we have Sasha Banks taking on Alicia Fox, and this is one of those matches that I'm not very interested in, guys. We have... Um, I feel like they fought a lot over the past like few months, and I'm just very sick of this. I don't even know why they're wrestling each other. I feel like this is just, you know, one of those filler matches that's just there to be there, you know, whatever. Sasha Banks is definitely going to pick up the win here. Um, I'm glad to see Alicia Fox at least doing something, but I, I don't know, man. Just not interested in it, but moving on to the next match. Up next, we have Asuka making her main roster debut. So very excited to see her finally debut on the main roster. I feel like it's way overdue. She is definitely going to be crushing Emma in this match right here. Definitely going with Asuka to pick up the win. Um, I hate that they're just going to feed Emma to her, but, you know, it is what it is. Somebody's got to feel the role. So I'm definitely going with Asuka here. I'm sure it'll be somewhat of a squash match, which is pretty terrible. But, you know, you got to keep your undefeated, dominant Asuka looking very strong. So I'm going with Asuka to pick up the easy victory. Up next, we have a cruiserweight tag team match between Cedric Alexander and Rich Swan. Rich Swan taking on the Brian Kendrick and gentleman Jack Gallagher. And I gotta say, I think this match is gonna be pretty entertaining. I'm not very invested in it, but I think if you want a good high flying wrestling match, I think this will definitely do. You know, all four men are great in the ring. All four are very agile, very great athleticism on all sides of this match. So. I'm going to go with Rich Swan and Cedric Alexander picking up the victory here. I feel like all four of these guys could easily be cruiserweight championship contenders. So I'm definitely going to go with the Rich Swan and Cedric Alexander team right here. And we are moving on to the next match. Up next, we have a cruiserweight championship match between the brand new champion Kalisto taking on Enzo Amore. And I think that Kalisto is going to retain this time. I think that, um, I don't know what they're going to do with Enzo going forward, but... Um, they did give Kalisto his own custom side plates, and they did not with Enzo. So putting those facts together, I think I'm going to go with Kalisto. I think that um, I'm not a very big fan of Enzo Amore. I love Kalisto in the ring. I think he's amazing in the ring. So I'm going to go with Kalisto. I actually am a fan of his. So I'm hoping he picks up the win here. But I wouldn't be surprised if they put it on Enzo. But I'm actually going to go with Kalisto getting the retain. 
Up next, we have a Raw Women's Championship match between Alexa Bliss and Mickey James. So excited to see Mickey James getting her title opportunity here. But I think it's going to come up short this time. I don't see her taking the title off of Alexa Bliss right now. I think that uh, Alexa Bliss will be retaining. I think this match should be pretty solid. Both women are good in the ring, in my opinion. A lot of people, I don't know why, they say that Alexa Bliss just isn't good or whatever. But I think that she is amazing in the ring. I think she's good on the mic. And, um, of course she can get better, but, uh, I am actually a fan and I think that she will be retaining her title at TLC. Up next, we were gonna have the Demon taking on Sister Abigail, and I think everybody could agree that that match was just gonna be awful. We've seen Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt fight so many times before, but now Bray Wyatt has been said that he is sick and he will not be making his way to TLC, so they have replaced him with the phenomenal AJ Styles, and my God, what a freaking wrestling match this could be. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is a WrestleMania-worthy match right here. Like, I would rather see this than Shinsuke versus AJ. Like, this is a beautiful fantasy dream match for me, and I cannot wait to see this match take place. I think that since they're keeping it the Demon versus AJ Styles, I think you have to go with Finn Balor in this one. Um, I think this could lead to a rematch in the future. Hopefully, WrestleMania for a championship or something like that would be amazing, but... um. I think you got to go with the demon. You know, you had um, the demon versus Sister Abigail, and I think it's good now. This all works out because AJ will still come out looking strong. I think they're going to give these guys a lot of time. They can beat the hell out of each other, show what everybody, show them what they can do in the ring, and then you will still have the demon prevail, which keeps the demon looking strong. And this looks better for Bray Wyatt because he doesn't have to wrestle Finn Balor again, and he doesn't have to have Sister Abigail lose in its debut. So maybe he can go fight Elias Sampson or something with that gimmick and win, you know, keeping that strong or whatever. But I am just freaking so excited for this match. This is definitely the most hyped match I am looking forward to. Um, I, I I know the main event could be amazing, but this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a freaking slobber knocker, as JR would say. So I'm so excited, but I am going with Finn Balor to pick up the win. Up next is what will most likely be the main event, and it is this five-on-three handicap match between... Cesaro, Sheamus, Kane, Braun Strowman, and the Intercontinental Champion Miz taking on the Shield, making their reunion here, but hold everything, folks. Roman Reigns is sick, just like Bray Wyatt, and he will now be replaced by the Olympic freaking hero, Kurt Angle, one of my favorites of all time. I don't know why they're replacing him with Kurt Angle. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know what where this is headed. I don't know... Like, I, I'm just so confused right now. I think I'm baffled just like everyone else, but I'm so happy. One of my favorites of all time will be making his in-ring um, return to WWE uh, for the first time in 11 years. It's so amazing. I'm so hyped for this. I think that with the ad of Kurt Angle, it's still, like, I felt like this whole Shield thing was really uh, booked really, really quickly. I thought that it, you know, unfolded really fast, and it was just sort of forced, and I thought it was going to be dumb to have the Shield bury, you know, five strong competitors on Raw here, but um, I just don't see them making the Shield lose, but now that you've added Kurt Angle, I still don't see him losing. Like, I think that uh, Kurt Angle's in-ring return is going to be something that's very big, and I think that they will be keeping it, you know, the faces winning. So I think that somehow, some way, uh, the Shield or the two-thirds of the Shield and Kurt Angle will be bringing down all five of these men and I'm just so happy to see Kurt Angle back in the ring it's going to be amazing so happy to see it um it's unfortunate that uh Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt are sick however I think that it hit you know everything uh is working out and I think that they are doing the right thing by having AJ Styles which is still blowing my mind by the way uh coming to fight the demon and then you have uh Kurt Angle replacing Roman Reigns it's just so amazing but that is going to do it for my predictions, guys. I literally came into this video thinking that I was just going to be bummed out about the whole pay-per-view. And then you add two superstars, and it could it could possibly save the entire pay-per-view. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your predictions down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.